Irregular rainfall and prolonged dry seasons have since sucked the moisture from the soil, killed cocoa trees and cut the yield from his farm. Now unable to fill even a single bag with beans, 77-year-old Mbasa struggles just to buy soap with a harvest that once put his children through school. There has been four months of drought. You see here, everything is scorched. This used to be a productive plantation. Now everything is scorched. Three hectares are destroyed because of the drought. I presented to you my three hectare plantation. How am I going to live with my family? Prolonged dry seasons linked to climate change in Cameroon has made poor harvest a new reality for many cocoa farmers who farm in small individual holdings. Due to changing weather patterns, Africa's third largest cocoa producer behind Ivory Coast and Ghana has struggled to meet a long-term target of boosting cocoa output to over 300,000 tons annually. He says the country now struggles to reach 250,000 tons and farmers are struggling to even produce 500 kilograms per hectare compared to one ton per hectare a few years ago. I used to produce 15 bags per year and now I can't get even one bag. You see, I can't produce a bag. I can't. The United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change said that the change in climate patterns could have negative impacts on export earnings on which the countries depend on. Small-scale farmers like Ambassa feel the heat more than anyone. Gavia Antagana, who used to grow cocoa in the same area, was drying his latest harvest much less than he is used to for August. Because the dry season lasted more than six months here in Nkenge, that's why we don't have enough cocoa at the moment. In August, I should have three sheets like this one, but this year, as you can see, we do what we can. After clearing his cocoa field, he's now planning to grow tomatoes, a crop that grows faster, and one that he hopes will help him send his kids to school and look after his family. Thank <music> you.